what do you think about the fact that there is one now? Uh, are, you, are guys you know, glad to see that, that change? Or do, you, do you wish the old system was still in place? You know, I think some guys are really excited. You know, obviously because it's giving everyone equal opportunity to play for the national championship. You know, um, you know, I think in the past people would get all upset because everyone has one loss, and then you know the the team from the SEC is going to go to the national championship and not the Big Ten. So um, hopefully this will give everyone an equal opportunity to play for the national championship, which is uh, what everyone wants. You think it helps Big Ten? For sure, because that will give us an opportunity to play for the national championship. How much more confident of a player are you going into this season than last year? Much more confident. In any specific area, or just is it, is it a, I guess, an idea that you've been there and done that? Uh, for sure. You know, obviously, having the season that we had, you know, beating the teams that we, that, that we beat, um, will build anyone's confidence, especially quarterbacks. So, uh, you know, doing what we did last year, uh, you know, elevated my confidence, and I feel like this year I'm going to be even more confident. Did you watch the national championship game last year? Did you ever did you think, well, you know, what if we were there, or you know, did, uh -huh. you, did you find yourself yeah, it, that? Yeah, it did run through my mind and watching the game. You know, you're watching uh, Auburn and Florida State, and you're like, oh, you know, what if we were playing either one of these teams, you know, we feel like we could have won. So, um, obviously, it doesn't, like, hurt you or, like, hurt me, but you're just like, uh, you know, what if? But really not trying to get too, too caught up in that. You know, we won the Rose Bowl, and that, that's a great thing. Hey, Connor, how's the uh, backfield looking besides Langford? You know, how about the backs behind him? Very, very good. You know, you got Nick Hill, who's going to be a senior. Um, he's a great running back, smaller, but very, very quick and elusive. Uh, you got Gerald Holmes, who's going to be a redshirt freshman who redshirted this past year. Um, you know, who's, who's learning, but very, very talented, has shown flashes of brilliance. You got Delton Williams, who's going to be a true sophomore, who got some uh, playing time last year, scored a touchdown against Illinois. Um, but it's like our, pretty much every spot on offense is like extremely deep, you know, O-line, receivers, running backs. But um, I'm excited for us as, a, uh, as an offense, especially the running back position. How do you feel about playing all these night games this upcoming season? I'm not a big fan of night games, to be honest. I, I hate waiting. You know, I, if I want to play, I want to play now. Like, I want to wake up, eat breakfast, get going, and just hit the field. Um, nothing is more frustrating than waiting around in a hotel for like six, seven hours you know, waiting to play. Because I get so nervous, too, that I just want to play. I like, hate waiting. The only thing I can do is just sleep. That's what Curtis is saying, that he hates waiting, too. So what do you do to pass the time, you know, when you have sleep. a Saturday night game? You sleep. sleep. He said uh, he watches college football. You don't do that at all? I watch a little bit of college football, but um, I try and just, you know, block everything out, tune everything out, turn my phone off, and just, you know, read my uh, read my call sheet, my, uh, my game plan sheet. And then, you know, depending on how stressed out I am, if I'm stressed, I need to sleep. And that's just like, I don't know, just soothes, my, soothes me, soothes my mind, just block everything out. Have you been to the uh, yeah, November night game, too, outside? I mean, did the cold become a factor for you? Is this really cold in November and you're playing outside? Um, yeah, I don't really think cold plays a factor. I feel like that's all mental. You know, as long as you're mentally tough and you block things out like that, um, it shouldn't really matter. Um, you know, we've played in cold environments before. And I think when we played Northwestern this year, I feel like that was like 15 degrees. Plus, like 30 mile per hour wind, so like, I think the wind chill was like below zero, so um, we're used to it. Last season, was there a game where it just kind of clicked for you, where you know, you put it all together and then you kind of move forward with a lot of confidence? Yeah, that was Iowa. You know, we went into Iowa after losing another game, um, you know, not having the best outing as an offense, um, getting things squared away during the bye week, and then going into a hostile environment in Iowa, you know, very hard place to play at, hard place to win. Um, and, and for us to make the plays that we, that we made there, you know, McGarrett having that long touchdown, uh, Benny catching that touchdown, that post route, um, you know, Jeremy and, and Nick Hill run the way they did, that kind of elevated everyone's confidence. And, and ever since then, we just kind of rode the wave. You know, I asked quite a lot of Big Ten players, who was the best quarterback in the Big Ten yesterday? You know, probably seven out of ten of them said you. How does that make you feel that they were picking you and they weren't on your team? Yeah, it makes me feel good. You know, glad that guys respect me like that. Um, because there's some other really good quarterbacks in the Big Ten too, and they could say Braxton Miller, they could say, um, you know, uh, Christian Hackenberg. But you know, for them to respect me like that, that means a lot. And then finally, uh, have you checked out the North End Zone yet? Uh, what do you think about it? It's amazing. We're lucky. Very, very lucky. Uh, how's how's your uh, Chicago experience been so far? It's been good. You know, um, 
kind of overwhelming a little bit at first, but you know, just taking it as a grain of salt or with a grain of salt, just you know, trying to have fun with it. Are you getting used to talking to 50 media members, you know, all the time? No, I don't think I, I don't think I'll ever get used to it. Kind of having an all season and you as a starter, do you are you able to get more time and more reps with your receivers, work on um, timing a little more maybe than you had last season? For sure. Um, you know, obviously you get more reps in practice being this, the number one guy. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not sick. Um, Should I move? No, you're okay. fine. I just had something like that. Um, obviously, you get more reps in practice, um, and then, like I said before, I've never you know put in so many extra hours uh, than I have this off season, this this summer. Um, and I feel like the timing with with me and the wide receivers right now is that it's all time all time best. So, um, trying to put in as much extra work as possible just to get that timing down. So once the season rolls around, I'll be uh, making throws with my eyes closed. Any of those Joking. guys in particular kind of stand out to you through the offseason? Say it again? Any of those guys in particular kind of stand out to you through the offseason guys who might you know, be in the breakout? Yeah. Um, two guys, or three guys in particular. You got Trey Barksdale, um, who works extremely hard. He's always down to work. Actually, four guys. You got Trey Barksdale, Matt Maxud, uh Aaron Troop, and then John Jakubik. And those guys are just the hardest working guys in the team. Call them up. Call them up at like 9 o'clock p.m. Hey, let's go over and throw. They're down, you know. Um, wake up, hey, let's throw tomorrow at 6 a.m. They're ready. Um, always down to put in the extra work. Uh, always down to get better. And when you have guys like that, um, you know, those are the kind of guys that Coach recruits, you know, hard workers, guys that are blue collar, um, guys that earn everything that they get. So, um, you know, working out with them this summer has been great, and our timing couldn't be, couldn't be better. What do you think the new schools are in for when they get into conference play? Um, you know, I don't know. I really haven't watched Rutgers on film, but I, I know that I've heard that they've got a great program. I haven't really seen uh, Maryland, but um, you know, we, we respect them. We know they're great programs. They have great head coaches, um, and they're going to be tough. Connor, what kind of, how would you describe Curtis Jones? What kind of guy is he? Great guy. You know, he's he's got a lot of swag, as you can tell, in that suit. Um, outgoing, super nice. You know, will drop anything he's doing to help you out. Anyone, um, you know. Uh, he's been a great, great leader to me. You know, guy that I look up to, um, guy that sets, sets, sets an example on and off the field. Um, and then just obviously you watch him play football and you're just amazed. He's super athletic, smart, um, intelligent. And he just has a knack for making big plays, and he can hit. Thanks. Last year, when people thought about Michigan State, defense was always the first thing that came up. How much do you want to, you know, the offense to kind of come into the national picture? Um, a lot. You know, I feel like last year, um, Coach Warner always said, or after after last year and during the spring, Coach Warner mentioned, you know, for as good as we thought we were last year on offense, we were, you know, middle of the pack in the Big Ten. We were like, with all the stats and statistics, we were like, you know, with passing yards per game, rushing yards, touchdowns, whatever, we were like five, six, or seven. Um, and we want to we want to make that jump, but we're not we're not happy with that. We want to be you know one, two, or three, you know, particularly one. So um, I feel like and I feel like we can do that with the guys that we have. So um, that's the goal, obviously, uh, to be to be one of the elite offenses in the country. Is there a different mentality this year now that you guys are kind of top dog in the A little bit, you know. I feel like we have we got a target on our back now after winning the Rose Bowl and stuff. But um, I feel like we had a target on our back last year a little bit. Um, you know, towards the end of the year, guys were obviously trying to take us down, and, and we handled success pretty well. So I feel like it'll be no different this year. You guys were uh, wearing your rings yesterday. Did that feel pretty good walking around here? You know, the other teams here wearing that ring. You know it. Um, these rings are awesome. You know, and being able to walk around with a Rose Bowl ring and a Big Ten championship ring um, is a great feeling. And I never had that. Uh, you know, luxury of you know winning a state championship in high school or being able to. Um, you know, walk around like that. So being able to come to Michigan State, a great program, and, and to win at a high level like that and walk around with a, with a big ring uh, feels great. Now, how's that feel that the <coughs> fan base is going to expect Big Ten titles and Rose Bowls and all that expectations? Do you feel any pressure? Or, you know, how's that feel when you raise the program's expectations? Yeah, um, obviously external expectations are extremely high. Um, internal expectations are also really high. You know, I have high expectations for myself, and, you know, I expect, I expect those things. So, um, you know, it's awesome that Spartan, that Spartan Nation has high expectations for us. You know, I don't look at it as pressure. Um, I feel like every year there's going to be pressure. So, um, you know, I think there was a lot of pressure last year, too. We handled it pretty well. So it'll be no different this year.